Once you have it, the whole thing goes up and out just that easily. Okay, so while I was getting ready to make one video, I decided to make a separate uh, quick video about something else that I've uh, seen a couple people be uh, curious about how to do it, and that is how to get the front tub out of the car here. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. You're going to see that if you have the right tools and you do it properly, you get it out in about maybe even a minute or two, you know, top. So it's super simple. The only things you're going to need is a T30, a 10 millimeter, and then maybe a little pick or a little screwdriver because there's one electrical connector that you got to get down to get this whole thing up. You're going to watch how fast you can get all this out, and you're going to get exposed to how much stuff is underneath and what's underneath there and how to get to it so in case you have to get to it so very very easy first thing you got to do is come over here to this little uh trim piece right here just go ahead and grab it give it a pull it's just a couple of clips that hold it in super simple okay same thing on the other side come over here give it a pull and there's just four clips that hold it in super easy right? moving on some of my tools here Next, you're going to want to take out this big piece right here. Again, just four clips in the corner. Just pulls right up. Okay. Now you have that out of the way. And then you got to take this bottom one out right here. Again, clips, pulls right up. There it is. Okay. Now, to get the tub out, all you have to do is, if you have a little cargo net thing, just uh, unhook it right here, and you're going to have these little screws. One here, one here. They're just the handheld screws. Just unscrew them, and there's going to be a 10 millimeter nut underneath. <clears throat> do that on both sides. <clears throat> okay, now you got the second one off. Then you're going to see four T30 screws. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Just take all four of those out. Okay. Now, where those uh, little plastic wing nuts that came out, it's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts, one underneath each. Take those out. Okay, then you're going to have one little electrical connector. It's right down here. It's pretty easy to get to. There's just a red locking tab to get to it. But just like any other electrical connector, just like anything else on this car, if you're going to disconnect anything electrical, disconnect the battery. It's easy to get to, especially since it's right here. Since you already took that cover off. 10 millimeter to get the negative side off. Disconnect. Get it out of the way. And then what I'll do is, you even have these little, like, kind of grooves right here. You can lift up on the tub. Just lift up on it. Once you lift up on it a little bit, you can get to that connector. Slide the little red locker out. And disconnect the connector. And once you have it, whole thing goes up and out just that easily and by the way one more quick little piece of information for you just in case you're wondering if you ever get to the point where you're going to change your cabin air filter which i'm sure some people out there are already at that point here it is right there once you take that cover off the of uh, the um the battery cover right there it's right here we'll tab right there and we'll tab right there on each side just squeeze squeeze and out it comes. There it is. There's your cabin air filter. Easy to change. And there you have it. Now you got everything that's all wide open and exposed, and you can get to anything that you may or may not need to get underneath here in case you're doing some other project. So, and just a little quick little short thing I wanted to show, just in case some people were wondering. I know it probably looks like there's a lot more to get this thing out, but it's not. It's pretty quick and easy. So, anyways, hope this helps. Good luck.